statistically and verifiably that when we give this to veterans over the course of time with a doctor in the right set and setting that these people are going to have an incredible transformation. You know, having the realization about how incredible ketamine is for breaking suicidal ideation, working on addiction, depression, anxiety, you know, uh, Warren Gumpel, my partner in the ketamine fund, he would literally tell you that his life was saved by ketamine. He had a depressive episode. They put him on antidepressants. He tried everything, nothing was working. He was pretty desperate. And somebody told him about ketamine after his first couple treatments. He felt like as good as he had felt in years and years. And he started to advocate in New York. And I met him in Florida and we both realized, hey, we're both advocating for ketamine. Let's do this together and we'll like really, you know, go fast. As we looked at it, we said, look, the most vulnerable population is the veteran population. You got a super high suicide rate. You got depression, anxiety, they're on all kinds of medications. Let's show people that we can disrupt the 22 veterans a day that are killing themselves. If we can disrupt that, bring that number down to, you know, five a day, that is going to be so significant in the ripple effect. These people deserve it. They, you know, put their life on the line. They saw horrible things. These people need the ketamine more than anybody. Let's dedicate our ketamine fund efforts in the beginning to veterans. Let's show with veterans that we can bring down the suicide rates. We can make these changes and then we can morph over to regular society. And so the ketamine funds, you know, stated goal is basically to have funds where if anybody in the United States in the beginning says that they're having suicidal thoughts, they're immediately within 24 hours, they're into a ketamine clinic near their house and it's paid for by the ketamine clinics. If you're rich, you're poor, there's no excuse. It's just, hey, if you're feeling a certain way, come in, have this incredibly safe treatment in a doctor's office and the ketamine fund's gonna pay for it. Um, you've got the Utah with the highest suicide rates in the country. We started to come here and we started to edit here and do all kinds of stuff. And we were here and we're like, wow, you know, this is a major veteran base. There's an incredible amount of veterans and something's wrong here because you've got a huge religious component going on, a lot of opportunity, beautiful nature. This should be the lowest suicide rate in right. the whole country if something's happening. Yeah. So we said, I'm calling this like our ketamine theory of everything. So let's take the ketamine. Let's show statistically and verifiably that when we give this to veterans over the course of time with a doctor in the right set and setting, that these people are going to have an incredible transformation. We, uh, through a philanthropist, we were able to give 400 to begin with 400 free treatments to veterans. Amazing. And so we start giving out these treatments and we have them all fill out this form called a PHQ-9. It's a very standard mood analysis uh, form. You see that these people, they come in and I think the highest score is a 27 on the PHQ-9. It talks about, do you feel suicidal? Do you feel any happiness? Do you, you know, do this and that? It talks about everything. The highest score is a 27. People come in high 20s all the time, veterans, and they're on dozens of medications. I mean, quite literally, one guy was on 22 medications. They come in and they do their ketamine treatment. They have this experience, probably get their dopamine back. They come in for the second one. They fill out the thing and they're like, a 15. And I didn't even know I was feeling this good. And then their wife's sitting there and she's like, yeah, didn't you know that you were like, you know, you took out the trash and you were whistling and you took the kids to the the mall, like you never go to the mall and the guy and the person's like, yeah, you know what? Like, wow, I didn't even realize it. Like maybe I'm feeling better. And then they keep doing it, their scores are going lower and lower and lower. The protocol with the ketamine is if you have treatment resistant depression, you do six treatments over about a two week period. You come back every month or every quarter uh, to get one booster treatment. And eventually as Dr. Brooks in New York, who's probably treated more patients than anybody else, he said at some point, you don't need it anymore. You've built up enough neural pathways. Right, that you restructured, you rewired your brain, and now you're just a happy, you're back to normal. Yeah. And so we started to, through Dr. Heemstra uh, here in Utah, we put the protocol in place. He has a great protocol. You get uh, multiple intramuscular shots over time. So you're basically doing three treatments in the same time that you would do one treatment in another clinic. Thanks for listening to The Adrian Sinclair Show. You can find previous episodes on the A Podcast multi-channel network at 
apodcast.com. You can also stream this podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Podbean, and other audio platforms. And if you subscribe to our weekly newsletter, you'll get convenient short summaries of podcasts you may have missed. So check it out. And lastly, please, please, please support us by sharing our episodes on social media. We really appreciate it. Thanks.